dimensioning in engineering drawing. There are many aspects to dimensioning in engineering drawing. Here I would like to mention about the placing of dimensions. But before that, let me tell you that there are two types of dimensioning. The, why do we do the dimensioning? The first is size dimensioning and the second one is location dimensioning. Size dimensioning. So in size dimensioning, we try to dimension the size of an object. For example, here we have a rectangle. The length of this rectangle is 30 and the height is 20. So these are the sizes of this rectangle. The second one is location dimensioning. Example is location of a hole with respect to the edge of the rectangle. So this rectangle has got four holes. So we want to locate these holes with respect to some dimension of this rectangle. So here we locate this hole with respect to the edge of the rectangle. Now we come to the placing of dimensions. There are two types of placing of dimensions. The first one is called aligned system and the second one is unidirectional system. So first I would like to show you the aligned system. And here I will draw a simple drawing and then I will do the dimensioning based on the aligned system. So here I am making a view of a very simple object. So this can be a top view or it can be a front view. And I am trying to locate the center of this part of the object. So these are the two center lines. And here I am drawing a circle. So this means there is a hole present in this object. So these are the extension lines. So the extension lines should be thin lines. and the line which is connecting the extension lines are the dimension lines. So the dimension lines should be given arrows at their ends. So here I have given two smaller dimensions and one which is the total dimension. So the third smaller dimension can be calculated from these three dimensions. One thing we should remember in dimensioning is we should never over dimension something. That means just enough to know all the dimensions of the object. Now here I am writing the dimension numbers such that we can read from the right side of the drawing sheet. So these dimensions are 20, 20 and 60 and this is the way of writing in a line system. That means the dimension line is complete and we write the dimension numbers along the di dimension lines. So these dimension lines are horizontal. So we will write the dimensions 
in a horizontal way just above the dimension line. So this way of dimensioning is known as dimensioning in a line system. That means the dimension numbers are written along the di dimension line and the dimension lines are complete. That means there is no breakage in the dimension lines. Now dimensioning of the whole can be done using a leader line. So a leader line is drawn from the center of the hole and it goes inclined about 45 degree to horizontal and it ends with a horizontal line as shown here. The diameter of the hole is given two arrows as shown here and the leader line is used to write the dimension of the hole, that is the diameter of the hole. And the diameter number, here we have got 20. Before writing the diameter number, we give a symbol of phi, which indicates that it is diameter, not radius. Now let me show you the unidirectional system. So again I will draw a very simple engineering drawing of an object as I have shown you before. So we draw the extension line and the dimension lines exactly same in both the systems. But the difference is that in the unidirectional system, we break the dimension line in between. And here we will write the dimension of this object. And we write the dimension in such a way that we can read from the bottom of the drawing sheet. And this orientation of the number is always the same. So we will not change it whether the dimension line is vertical or horizontal. So now these dimension lines I am drawing are horizontal and here also I will give a break in between. And I will write the dimension numbers such that we can read the number from the bottom of the drawing sheet. So the orientation of the numbers are always same. So this is known as unidirectional system. Now for the diameter of the hole, again we will use the leader line and in this case the leader line ends with a horizontal line so the number is always written horizontally. 
That means we can read from the bottom of the drawing sheet. So these are the two types of placing systems for dimensions. The first one is the aligned system, which is on the left side. And the second one is unidirectional system, which is on the right side. In the aligned system, the numbers, the dimension numbers are aligned along the dimension line. But in unidirectional system, the numbers are always such that they can be read from the bottom of the drawing sheet. In some cases, we can dimension a circle in this way instead of using the leader line. So in the aligned system, we will write the dimension number along the dimension line. And in the unidirectional system, we will write such that we can read the number from the bottom of the drawing sheet. Of course, as I said before, leader lines are used to dimension a circle. All dimensions, unless specified, must be in millimeters without writing mm. For dimensions less than unity, a zero must be placed before the decimal. So on the left side, we have the aligned system of dimensioning and on the right side, we have unidirectional system of dimensioning. So as we learned for aligned system, the numbers are written aligned to the dimension line and numbers are always written on top of the dimension line when it is horizontal. When it is vertical, we will write the number always on the left side of the dimension line. So we will never write the number on the right side of the dimension line. In the aligned system, we will never write the number in this fashion. Always aligned along the direction of the dimension line. So in the unidirectional system, we will never write the numbers which is aligned in the direction of the dimension line. Use only one placing of dimension system in one entire drawing. Aligned and unidirectional systems should not be mixed together in one drawing. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments or question, please write them down below in the comment section.